guys, it's Iris here, and we're back with an episode of Wish and TV versus Acne. If you haven't checked our previous episode of versus Acne comparing different types of acne patches, make sure you go check it out right here. Does any of you guys want to wear off shoulders or backless dresses but can't due to problems on your chest and back? Let's use our five rounds of versus Acne to get rid of our skin problems. Go, go! Round one, cause of body acne. First, let's learn about the cause of body acne. Acne on your chest and back are troubles that are caused from the clogged sebums that have failed to secrete it. Unnecessarily dead cells are piled up and that's what cause acne. Sebaceous glands are largely distributed on our chest and back which make it easier to form on thick layers of skin. How can we escape from acne? First, there are things you need to consider. If you are suffering from body acne, think if you're having hot showers for a long time. High body temperature promotes sebum production and creates an acne prone environment. If you are taking showers for 30 minutes to an hour, that's a bad habit. You can improve skin problems when you wash with lukewarm water under 10 minutes. If you change trivial habits like this, you can relieve back acne. We learned about the cause in round one. So now let's learn about the habits that we should change to get clear skin. Round two, shower sequence. What is the shower sequence for wish trenders with body acne? Did you know that by changing your shower sequence, you can actually relieve your body acne? We told you that your chest and backs are largely distributed with sebaceous glands. So you need to remove sweat precisely with body cleansers. For example, if you wash your hair while standing up, you might still have shampoo residue on your body. So you want to try to tilt your head down and rinse your hair like this, or wash your body with special attention. But if you still feel like it's hard to wash completely, try changing your shower sequence. If you wash your hair and body at the same time, rinse your hair first and then remove the impurities on your body with body cleanser. Then, even though shampoo residue is left on your body, you're removing it with your body cleanser. And I will share some tips about things you should avoid. I don't recommend you use quasi drugs like hair loss shampoo, hair products, or hair packs with wax of silicon oil and try to minimize their usage. And now I'm going to share tips on how to apply your hair essence. Prepare a dry towel, then put the dry towel on your back. Apply your hair essence and then dry your hair. This way, the essence doesn't go directly on your back, preventing skin problems. Round 3. Body Scrub have you heard that you shouldn't scrub your body with acne parts because the acne is going to spread all over your body? This is right and wrong. It is really important and good and helpful for your skin if you care with body scrubs time to time. But if you rub too harsh or too often, your skin will get irritated and your acne will get worse. So you should scrub your body without irritation. If you have acne prone skin or tretinoin, I recommend you exfoliate twice a week to remove unnecessary sebum without skin irritation. There are three tips, using scrubs, using tools, and using skincare products. Let's learn more about these tips. First, when using tools, we recommend you use a puff with microfibers or a soft body brush. If it's your first time using them, it might feel a little awkward, but it will successfully remove dead cells, germs between the pores, and you'll see the improvement if you use it for two weeks. Apply body soap on microfiber puffs and massage your body to exfoliate. It is useful to wipe out easily darkened spots like legs, feet, knees, and armpit. When using a body brush, soak it in warm water for 10 minutes, and then apply your body soap and massage your body. If it's your first time using a body brush, choose brushes that's made of nylon. Nylon brushes are softer than cactus or pig bristle brushes, so you may feel less refreshed. But for beginners, we still recommend a nylon brush. Secondly, I will share tips on how to apply scrubs. When you're looking for scrubs, you should look for particles that are round, because round particles exfoliate without irritation. Don't melt for too long in the water. If you want to just simply cleanse your body, then just make enough bones and mix it with water. And lastly, using skincare products to exfoliate. Some of you will ask, what if it's unable to take a shower? There is no substitute to taking showers, 
but I will still tell you tips on how to solve your situation. Soak cotton pads with enough toner that has exfoliating functions and wipe off your chest and back. This can remove built up impurities and sweat and also help with light exfoliation. Round 4. Applying Lotions some of you guys may be suffering from back acne because of your bad habits of applying lotion. For example, if you thought, I'm gonna apply body oil because I have dry skin, or I don't need to apply body lotion because I have oily skin, please pay attention. Whether you have dry skin or not, after showering or scrubbing, you always have to hydrate your body. Light textured lotions mostly have mild ingredients, so they will fit most skin types. Because they are absorbed quickly, they are good for dry skin and lightly oily skin types. Also, apply lotion when your body still has moisture, so that's about 5 minutes. Apply more delicately with the areas where they have lighter skin, like the top of your foot, collarbone, or your knees. They are easily chapped or broken out in a rash. And also, for those areas where you can't reach, apply a mist to care for them, like on your back. You need to avoid ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil that's going to cause acne, and also ethanol that's going to disturb moisturization. I recommend ingredients like sulfur, which has L, azelene, and ceramide that are often used to cure acne. And I will tell you a secret. I heard that Wishtrend is currently developing an effective spot care cream that's based on sulfur for acne. And I heard you can use it on your face and body. Round 5. Lifestyle Habits Finally, lifestyle habits. You should fix your lifestyle habits to get rid of acne and get to a clear body. Even though you apply good products and remove your acne, if your lifestyle is bad, these problems will reoccur. So let's learn how to get rid of our bad habits and get to a healthy lifestyle for clear skin. Firstly, don't expose yourself in high temperature for long hours. If you are exposed to hot water shower, baths, saunas, sunlight, or even heaters, your water oil balance is going to break and cause acne. Number two, avoid humid environments. To help prevent acne, it's better to wear sweat absorbent outfits and use air conditioners and humidifiers to control the humidity. Especially, we sweat a lot in the summer, which is causing acne on our chest and backs. So when we're lying down, our back is going to be damp with sweat so our back cannot breathe. Also, damp environments and demotics holoculorum from unclean bedding can highly affect acne. Number 3. Bad Eating Habits If you consume high ratios of carbohydrates, it can disturb hormones and worsen acne. If you enjoy fried foods, fast food, junk foods, or oily foods, you are more probable of having acne symptoms. It is not that all people with bad eating habits will suffer from acne, but people who do suffer from acne problems should take care of your eating habits. Number 4. Harsh Diets If you are going on a strict diet, it can provoke problems inside your body and break the water oil balance. And as a warning, it's going to form acne. Number 5. Drink water on an empty stomach in the morning. If you drink warm water on an empty stomach when you wake up, bowel movements and prevent constipation. You can release toxins inside your body and improve acne, so try to drink some water when you wake up. Number six, stress and irregular sleeping problems. If you don't go to bed at the appropriate time and sleep at dawn, this is going to release keratin and expedite sebum secretion. If this repeats, it will cause acne. Also, if your body's tiredness is accumulated, this will cause body problems and stimulate sebaceous glands to arouse acne. Especially acne on the back is closely related to bowel and stomach, so you have to try hard to effectively improve your lifestyle and relieve your stress. Number 7. Regular workouts. Regular workouts help correct sleeping patterns, eating habits, hormone balance, and to relieve stress. Though it is hard to exercise regularly when you first start, it will get better as you start with easier exercises. If you are suffering from bad body acne, then we still recommend you visit a dermatologist to remove them. So far, we solved concerns on body acne. Back acne is caused from bad shower habits, but also from stress, eating habits, and from drinking and smoking. First, it is important to look back at your shower habits, but I also hope it was a good opportunity for you to look back at your usual habits. We will come back with more interesting episodes of Christian TV versus Acne! Bye!